well will be on your career. So how much do you regard yourself to have grown in terms of your music style and as a singer? I think the person that I started out as back in 2005 and today is just like a world apart. I mean, of course, at the core, I'm still the same kind of like the personality is amazing. the same. But in terms of musical growth, performance style, um, musicality, business sense, whatever it is, like everything involved, like revolving around my music has shifted really and that's really just you know that just that's just really born out of like you know time and effort put into it um and yeah just doing lots of stuff in lots of places you grow you know you really learn a lot um you learn a lot about music you learn a lot about performing you learn a lot about yourself and how you kind of interact with people and how you connect with people on stage um so yeah like if you compare me to like my, my own experience from when I first started out to now, it's like a world apart. It's two completely different things, yeah. Was studying in Berkeley of any influence to this? Uh, yes, studying in Berkeley was a pretty life-changing experience because you really, I mean, I always knew that Singapore was small, you know, and I always knew that um, the music industry here compared to other places, you know, it's not, it's not gigantic, it's growing, it's a budding industry. But you don't, I mean, knowing it is one thing, but experiencing it is another. Like when I was in Berkeley, you realize just how big the world is. Like the world of music is massive. There's so much going on. Like so much to the point that you can't even fathom, you know? And, you know, as I guess in a sense, it kind of scares the hell out of you because you realize how your music is not, you know, it's, it, it, it's all right. It's not as amazing as you thought it was. You know, what you do is nothing special, you know. It kind of gives you that perspective. Um, but it, at the same time, it didn't give me a negative view on it. I saw it as, I saw it more like, there's so many amazing musicians out there, people doing work that surpasses mine by leaps and bounds. Like, my mission here is to like, meet that standard and get better and kind of like improve myself, you know, so that um, I can stand with these giants, you know, yeah. So when and where do you usually get your music inspiration and to write new music? Uh, my inspiration comes from listening, listening and watching. Uh, live shows are always, you know, a lesson. And listening to other uh, musicians, you know, their records and everything. Um, you know, ideas just really fly at me when I listen to music. Uh, I'm pretty much watching and listening. Is there like a certain time of the day where inspiration just hits you? Yeah, that's really how it works. Not for me at least. For me, inspiration kind of hits the more immersed I am into whatever it is I'm doing. So for example, uh, say I don't listen to music like for three, four days straight. Chances of me coming up with a song idea, very low. But if you really immerse yourself into music, immerse yourself into like an album or something, like it starts to, for me at least, like the more I listen to, the more ideas I get. So at some point it just kind of overflows. And then when that overflow of ideas meets inspiration, that's when I feel something decent comes up, I guess. Shortest and the longest time you ever took to write a song? Um, the shortest amount of time I took to write a song that I was happy with, maybe like 45 minutes. Um, yeah, and the longest, geez, like two, three weeks, maybe even longer. It really depends. Like sometimes an idea is just too good to be haphazard with. So you want to really carefully choose everything you do about it. And sometimes like, you know, the words just come out a lot easier. Sometimes like things just rhyme, everything in the universe rhymes at that moment and the ideas just like click one after the other. So it's it's hard to um, define like you know how long these took this song, really. Path that you walk on and take to heart.